some of the things that people don't know that's happened since my last album. Put out a D12 album. Huh? Huh? How about that? So I put out a D12 album. It's called Devil's Night. And if you don't got it, which you don't, then go fucking buy it. Well, let's see. For the past two years, I put out a fucking album. I got arrested. I got divorced. I got fucking arrested. I got out. I got off. The concept of the album is my life on blast. Like a show. Like my life is a show. Sometimes I don't know where my private life and my private life ends and my public life begins. It all seems to blend together a lot. So that's the reason for that, the, the concept, for the title, and for everything is because sometimes I feel like that. I feel like there's nothing that I can do that is not wrote about, at least at this time in my life. To be original and to let people know that I have nothing to hide, and in doing that, maybe put a little too much of my personal life out there. So now it's like, fuck it, I can't stop now. I might as well, whatever. It's writing about what I know, and yeah, I guess now it's really opening the curtains, and like the show is really begun. Every artist, like, if you're a true artist, you gotta grow. Otherwise, forget it. Like, if you sound the same on your last album, and that's what I mean by, like, I don't want to disappoint the fans as far as, like, uh, you know, content. If your music doesn't grow, forget it. You might as well stop making music. Because that's how, that's how artists lose their, their momentum and their career and how people stop caring about them is when they don't grow. When they sound, you, you put their new, al new album in and you can't tell the difference from their last album. Every song that I produce, I try to outdo the last one. If I don't outdo the last one, then I usually don't like it as much. Because if I like really like a song and I feel good about it, I'll keep listening to it, you know? And that's how I know I like a song. I've always produced or co-produced my shit. And that's only because I feel like, like a lot of times I'll write a rap first and I'll get the idea in my head of how the beat should go. It's like, you know, I always know how I want the beat to go. So like I figure like who's better to do it then than me? Why wouldn't I do my own shit? Why would I let somebody else like just do my beat and it's done and then come in there and rap over it? I'm like a sponge because I you know, I've over the years I've watched Dre and what he does and how he does it and learned a lot of tricks from him. Learned music a lot. has to be it has to get better. The day that is not better I don't want to rap no more. I don't want to do music anymore. If, if I don't always get better with every song and with every album, then there's no point in, in me rapping. To my fans who supported me over the years and bought my records and the first ones to buy this record, I thank you so fucking much for getting it off the internet first and dubbing copies for all your fucking friends. I, I, I got to thank everybody for buying my records and supporting me like over the years and, and everybody who fucking made me as big as I am, um, made my dick as big as it is and made my head swell up to the size of I can't, I have to walk through doors sideways now. Like I got to thank everybody. My whole fan base, my whole fan base is dead. They're, they're the shit, bro. Yeah, I definitely think my fans take a lot more shit than anybody else's fans. Because, like, sticking up for me is probably, like, a 24-7 job. That's how I know my true fans. It's anybody who has been with me since I came out and followed me all the way to this record and bought it and have followed my life and seen the things that I've went through. Because most of the shit that I've went through is no different or no, out, no much more out of the ordinary in anybody else's life, it's just that I sell records and I'm a public figure, so my life has been public because people go through the shit that I go through every day. I guess that's my gift, is I'm able to take the bad and turn it into something good, if that's what you want to call it. I'm able to take my situations and make art out of it, which is the difference between me 
and a lot of people. New victims. Um, basically, whoever I feel like, who's a new victim? Moby, you know, uh, he was saying some shit about me. Chris Kirkpatrick, you know. But when I take jabs at people like that, it's just, it's all in fun. It's, it's poking fun. You know, I'm an I'm a easy target too, man. You know, it, there's a lot of shit that people can say about me. There's a lot of shit that people can try to poke fun at and this and that and, oh, you know, the fucking blonde hair and, you know, the pointy nose and all that shit. There's a lot of shit that I have on me that people can make fun of too, but nobody's going to be a bigger smartass than me and nobody, it, nobody is going to outsmart me in this game, in this music period. Not just in rap, I mean just in, in music general. I can't be outsmarted or outwitted or, or I feel fucking defeated. You can't outsmart the smart ass. Like, so if people take jabs at me and they think they're being funny at the time, it's going to come back. It'll come back. So, you know, as long as I got a fucking mouth.